Nucleic acids are biological macromolecules which act as important information carrying molecules. There are two types of nucleic acids, ribonucleic acid, RNA, and deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. In all living cells, DNA holds the cell's genetic information, while RNA transfers that genetic information to ribosomes to synthesize proteins. Both nucleic acids are polymers of smaller monomers called nucleotides, which bind together in condensation reactions creating phosphodiester bonds and forming a polynucleotide strand. Each nucleotide consists of a pentosugar, a phosphate group, and one of four nitrogen-containing organic bases. In a DNA nucleotide, the pentosugar is deoxyribose, and the nitrogenous base may be one of the single ring pyridamines, thymine, or cytosine, or one of the double ring purines, adenine, or guanine. In an RNA nucleotide, the pentosugar is ribose, and the nitrogenous base may be one from adenine, guanine, cytosine, or uracil. When the nucleotides link together, the phosphate group attached to the 5' prime carbon on the sugar of one nucleotide is joined to the 3' prime carbon on the sugar of an adjacent nucleotide, forming the sugar phosphate backbone of the polynucleotide strand and giving each strand a 5' prime end and a 3' prime end. An RNA molecule is a relatively short single polynucleotide chain. A DNA molecule, however, is a double helix consisting of two antiparallel polynucleotide strands held together by hydrogen bonds between the complementary base pairs. Purines, being double ring bases, are larger than pyridamines, the single ring bases, so purines will only pair with the complementary pyridamines, ensuring that the base pairs are all of equal length and that the polynucleotide strands are always the same distance apart. Adenine and thymine each have two hydrogen bonding sites available, so adenine will only pair with thymine, held together by two hydrogen bonds whereas guanine and cytosine each have three hydrogen bonding sites available, so guanine will only pair with cytosine, held together by three hydrogen bonds. In each DNA molecule, the number of adenine bases equals the number of thymine bases, and the number of guanine bases equals the number of cytosine bases. Before cells undergo mitosis, the DNA must copy itself in a process called replication, which takes place during interphase. This ensures genetic continuity between generations of cells. DNA replication starts at the origin of replication, a location on the DNA molecule identified by the base sequence. The enzyme DNA helicase breaks the hydrogen bonds holding the complementary bases together unwinding the two polynucleotide strands of the DNA double helix and exposing the bases. The two separated strands act as templates for the synthesis of new complementary polynucleotide strands. And as they separate, they form a replication fork. The enzyme RNA primase makes small pieces of RNA called primers, which serve as starting points for the construction of the new DNA strand. The enzyme DNA polymerase then starts at these primers and moves along the exposed base sequence, joining DNA nucleotides to the exposed bases on the template strands using complementary base pairing and joining adjacent nucleotides by condensation reactions. DNA polymerase can only add nucleotides to the 3' end of the new strand 
and therefore can only assemble the new strand in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. One of the new strands, the leading strand, is oriented in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, so is made continuously, with the DNA polymerase continuously adding new complementary nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The other strand, the lagging strand, is anti-parallel being oriented in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction, so is made discontinuously. The RNA primase enzyme makes several RNA primers at various points along the template strand. DNA polymerase then adds DNA bases to the template strand in short sections, called Okazaki fragments. going in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Once all of the bases are paired up, another DNA polymerase enzyme removes all the RNA primers from both strands and fills in the gaps left behind with more DNA nucleotides. The new DNA sequence is proofread by the enzyme DNA exonuclease before the enzyme DNA ligase finally seals up the fragments of DNA to form two new daughter molecules. This process is semi-conservative because each of the two DNA molecules consists of one new strand and one old conserved strand from the original DNA molecule.